Well, hello guys. We're here at a second revisit of the abandoned Bradley's in Hazlitt, New Jersey. I can't believe this is still sitting here. This is unbelievable. Crazy. Also, there was a food town that was here, but then got demolished. I think in the late 2000s it got demolished. I could be wrong, or early 2010s. Uh, I came here, first time I came here was when I first started my channel too. <laughs> like, I believe in April 2020, that's when I started filming. I just wish I filmed way back when I was in my early 20s. Cause God knows how many places I could have found back then. Especially like probably more Caldors and Bradleys and Ames that were abandoned. But I'm surprised that this building doesn't have any graffiti or anything on it. I haven't seen anything yet. I just wanna come up close to the Bradley signage here. It's crazy that the sign is still here too. So I'm gonna show you the parking lot as well. The there was a sign. Was it right there? The signage used to be there as well for uh, food, food and uh, Bradley's. <sighs> Today's a little bit cold too. Um, hence why I'm shivering a little bit. <laughs> it's also a Dunkin' Donuts, a little shopping strip right next to this abandoned Bradley's. Extra space storage. Right across from it too. There's also an abandoned shop right down here. I don't even know if I could film it because one of my uh, subscribers, Kevin Danko, filmed the place, but I think he got caught by a cop or something later after that, so I'm not even sure if, I, if I'm going to film that or not. But let's check out this Bradley sign. This is I never came up this close to the sign, so this is going to be pretty interesting. And uh, just for you guys that know, don't know Bradley's pretty well, uh, they were a department store that was based in the northeastern states, like uh, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut. They were founded in, Con their headquarters I believe was in Connecticut. And uh, they also had locations in Pennsylvania, Maryland, Massachusetts, I believe Rhode Island too. Yeah, so mostly northeastern states. So, this is the first time I've been up this close to this Bradley sign. Look at that, guys. Unbelievable. And the food town sign was right below it, too, but they took it off. I wonder if there's a backside to it. Oh shit, it's muddy over here. Oh man, this is a bad idea. Oh fuck. Hopefully. Is there a backside to it? Oh yeah, there is. Thank God nobody's over here too. Yeah. It's worse around the other side. It's pretty <sighs> Man, I wonder how long that Bradley sign been up there for. And I wonder uh when this Bradley's was built here. I think it was an original Bradley's store. I don't think anything uh 
came before it. And the futon wasn't even that big too. <laughs> wow. There was a driveway through here way back in the day where you can get inside Bra uh, Bradley's in uh, Bluton. They blocked it. They also blocked the entrance from that way too. <sighs> and opposed to being the front of the building facing, if you were coming from the highway, it's on the side like this. I wonder what this Bradley's looked like back in the day. I would really like to know. Also, guys, share your comments below. Um, and if you had any memories of going back into this Bradley's in Food Town, now it's just rubble over here. This is where the Food Town was. Yeah, so just please, uh, if you guys have any comments or any memories of this place, of once going to this Bradley's and Food Town here in Hazlitt, New Jersey, I really get to get your perspective of this place. That is a real damn shame. I can't even get to see inside the place. They really, uh, they really, uh, boarded it off. I don't know, but like a while ago, I saw a comment saying there is a way to get inside one of the doors. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that was speakers that were here. It looked like it. Those look like speakers. <laughs> well, the lights still remain here too. Obviously they're not working. They kid a lot here, so. Oh, I wish I could see what was inside this place, man. That is such a damn shame that they really boarded this off. Look at this. So this is where you would have entered inside the store. They still have the mats here. This is crazy. Sucks, man. That is such a bummer. I don't know if somebody was trying to get in here, but even inside, the the doors even boarded there too. You can't. They did a really good job of boarding this place. <laughs> Damn. There's no way I'm gonna be able to see it inside this place. That sucks. I don't know if there's vandalism, vandalism done here, but I see some broken glass. That sucks. <sighs> Let's go around, guys. Um, so what I have a uh, few memories of my own of going to Bradley's back in the day. My mom loved Bradley's too. <laughs> She's like, remember I, uh, a reminder of Bradley's? She's like, oh, I miss Bradley so much. Yeah. And I don't know why they painted over here because when I first came here, I saw the label score and they painted over it, which was stupid. Why would you paint the building? Gray. I just don't understand. 
So yeah, like I was saying, um, I remember back in the day, like in the late 90s, up until it closed in 2001, we would always go to the Brallies in Parsippany, New Jersey and Wayne, New Jersey. Right now, the one in Parsippany is a Home Depot and the one in Wayne, New Jersey is a Kohl's. And I remember those two stores pretty well. Um, uh, hopefully, in the later months, I will film those places and it will take me back. Especially if I go inside the Kohl's one. Oh. I can't even see anything through there. No way. Yeah. Wow, not even a peek inside there. That sucks. There was, um... I remember going to the rallies in Stratford and Bordentown at least I got to see a peak inside there this place you can't even see anything so this was the shipping receiving area of the rallies this is private area no entrance by public look how old that sign is wow I don't know if people ever got inside this building or maybe there's a way to get on top of the building. I see somebody did graffiti on here. I don't know if I saw this here before. Compactors. God knows when was the last time this compactor has been used. Absolutely insane, guys. So, the graffiti, somebody name tag beavers mm. this, uh, double doors here god it is so rusty <laughs> huh. wow. and uh, back in 2001 I was 16 years old so I was still in high school at that time god this takes me back you know I wish I was, <laughs> I wish I was like back in the 90s again, just going to a shop, right? So, give you a little bit of history for me, for retail. I first uh, went inside retail stores with my mom, I think probably in the 90s. I remember the first one, I think, in my, uh, as far as I remember, was the Kmart that used to be in Parsippany, New Jersey, in the Troy Hills Plaza. The, there was one there a long time ago that was in the 90s. I think they relocated in like 98 or 97, maybe 98 or, maybe 98 or 99 to the Arlington Plaza in Parsippany, New Jersey. I don't know if you guys remember that. If you're a local of Parsippany, New Jersey, you probably remember it pretty well. There used to be a Kmart in Troy Hills Plaza, and then they relocated to the Arlington Plaza. There's a door here, and there's a little opening. Enough for a rat to go inside there. <laughs> Here you see the Bradley sign. I think there was a Bradley sign right here and they took it off. What a shame. I would love to see that. Let's see if I can see anything through here. Let's see if I can see anything through myself. Yeah, it is so dark in there. I'm pretty sure it's like really dark in there. I can't even get much of a look. When we come to the side of the building, I don't know if this was an auto center. I have no idea. Yeah, I can't even see anything to that. Yeah, I don't know if this place had an auto center or not, but this looks like it was. 
Or maybe it was for shipping receiving, I'm not sure. Did they have an emergency exit door? They even have plug outlets right next to it. Huh. It's kind of strange. I always come, I always love coming down to shore, especially when I'm looking at the beaches and uh, fishing with my best friend. So yeah, here's a more closer look of the signage that they used to have right here. They used to have the Browleys and the uh, Food Town sign right there. And here they have uh, this closed off. So, I don't know if this was an auto center, this part. Could have been, but I could be wrong. So, uh, never shocked at this. <laughs> rallies back in the day so they have a door here no door handle all right guys that about does it i hope you enjoyed this re second revisit i came here so this is my probably gonna be my last time i come to this bradley's i don't know when this place is gonna be demolished it's probably been sitting here since they went defunct in 2001 so it's 2023 now already been like 22 21 years unbelievable 2001 i was in high school so i believe i was a junior or sophomore i think a sophomore <sighs> takes me back guys all right guys uh that does it for this video hope you enjoy this uh i'm gonna see if i can get to check out the abandoned bra uh, shop right that's not even too far right down that road down there see you on the next one guys peace out bye bye